financial accounting. We're looking at income statements and stockholders' equity. In particular, let's take a look at how do you compute taxes. And if you take a look in the book, there's a table called Table 1, and it shows you the graduated tax rates for corporations. And you can look this up online if you go to irs.gov, uh, or you could look at a tax return for a corporation, and it will show you the tax rates. Now, these are graduated, which means that if you don't make very much money, taxable income, you have a smaller percentage than if you make more. And so these graduated rates go up in certain increments. So what we're going to do is figure out how much the tax would be on $70,000 and then on $80,000, $85,000 of taxable income. So looking at Table 1 for $70,000, I would see that I would take the $70,000 minus the, where it's, the cutoff is, which is $50,000, times the tax rate for that graduation which is 25%. But then I have to add the tax that you would owe on the taxable income that's less than 50000 which is 7500 which was at that lower tax rate. So as far as how much taxes we would owe, it would be 20000 times 25% plus 7500 And so on 70000 you would owe $12,500 in tax. Okay? Let's try 85000 Now, 85000 is in the bracket above the 25% level. So, what we're going to do is take 85000 minus that bracket cutoff, which is 75000 and the next bracket up has a tax rate, graduated tax rate of 34%, plus the taxes that would be owed at the lower graduated brackets are $13,750. So in other words, we're going to take $10,000 times 34% plus the taxes we owe at those lower tax brackets. So in total, on an $85,000 taxable income, we would owe $17,150. So, could we do another one? Sure, but I'll leave you that to your homework.